These are the tools you're going to need. I have 12 purple, I have 14 pink and 14 yellow, and I have 10 with beads on them, and then I have just a couple for the extension just in case it's just a little too short, the bracelet. And I also have one for a cap, and I have an S clip, I have my hook, and I have a mini hook because sometimes they pop off and you want to be able to grab them. And I also have this piece of thread, and I'm going to show you how to add the band onto the bead. Put the thread through here. It's only if the hole on the bead is actually too small to slide the rubber band through. And in my case, it is. So I'm going to push this through, push this through, put it all the way up, and then slide the rubber band through. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other bead here. Just going to push it through. Then I'm going to slide this through like this. And I'm going to add it to my pattern right here. Start with your arrow pointing away from you. I'm going to load the loom. this and then I'm going to fast forward through this step here. And this is what it should look like. And now we're going to do the other row. I'm choosing to use yellow, pink on one side, and yellow on the other. And I'm going to fast forward to this step. This is what it should look like for this, and then I'm going to do purple going up the middle. Now we're going to add the center beads. And this is what it should look like. And 
Now we're going to add a cap. I'm going to add it to the top. You twist it into an eight. You wrap it around your finger and you just add it to the top. Now we're going to flip it over and then we're going to start grabbing our bands. I'm going to start with the yellow band here. And then I'm just going to go up this row. And um, I'm going to fast forward through this step. And this is what it should look like. Next, I'm going to do the middle row. Just going to look for the purple band. And pull it through. Just make sure that your beads are one on each side. And I'm just going to continue to go up the row and I'm going to fast forward this step. Next, and this is what the middle row should look like. Next, I'm going to do the pink. make sure I'm only grabbing the band in this row, not the horizontal band. And I'm going to go all the way up and fast forward through. And this is what it should look like. And now I'm just going to connect these to here and this to here. Now I'm just going to create a slip knot. I pull it through all of the bands. Pull this through. Make sure all of the bands are attached. I drop that one and loop it back through. And now we can pull them off. I'm going to add my S clip and I'm just going to pull it off. Okay, 
Okay, and this is what it should look like. I'm going to make an extension so it can fit on the wrist. I'm going to point the arrows away from me. I'm going to add one, two, and connect and then now you just connect the S clip and now you have your extension and your bracelet I'll be back with the pictures